brief video will demonstrate how to create bookmarks and clips from videos in the Alexander Street Press Academic Video Online collections and how to embed those into your Canvas course. First step is always coming into the database through a library provided link which allows you to authenticate as a Columbia user. But in order to create bookmarks and clips you will need to log into your personal account and if you haven't already created one you'll need to register and create an account. The easiest way to create a, book, a clip is to use the bookmark feature, this little bookmark symbol right here. And so I'm at a particular point in the video where I want my clip to begin. I just click the bookmark. And then uh, I have a clip that begins with that bookmark, bookmark point and goes through the end of the video. If you prefer to have a clip that has a beginning and an ending before the end of the video, you can use the Make Clip icon, which is uh, scissors. And you'll have a green flag for the beginning and a red flag for the end. And just to note that you can also choose to just type in your beginning and ending point if you prefer to do that. So you might get that from the transcript here or from a previous viewing of the film where you write down your beginning and end point for any clips that you want to draw from that video. Give your video a title. You can include notes or description if you like. It's very important that you change the visibility. You must set it at everyone at my institution or everyone, meaning all Alexander Street Press viewers, um, in order to share this in your Canvas page and then save your changes. Once you've created some clips, there will be a clips tab at the top here and you can view them. Now there's one more way to uh, view videos. Depending on how you navigate through Alexander Street Press, you may view a film in a screen that looks like this. You can view the screen full, the movie full screen. You can still see the transcript, the details. Let's try this again. I'm going to create a clip. Name the clip, include a description if I like, and then just use these dots on the um, timeline to show a beginning and ending time for your clip. And again, it's very important to indicate visibility, so I'm going to change this to institutional and save the changes. And now we have a clip. In order to share these clips in Canvas, um, with the first method we used, you use the embed icon here, which is like brackets and a slash mark. And then you can highlight and copy the embed code. In the second way of viewing, you find it under the three dots, click on share, and then copy embed code. You could also use just a regular link, but the embed code puts an image of the video into your course page and allows students to click on that to start viewing the film. Then you just go to your Canvas page, edit, find the embed icon which is hidden under the three dots. It looks like um, a cloud with a little bracket symbol in it so I just imagine embedding the code right into the cloud there and you can submit the code and then be sure to save that change. And that's how you create bookmarks and clips and embed them in your Canvas course. 
If you have any questions, you can always use our Ask a Librarian services. Um, when it's available, we provide live chat and emails can always be sent 24 hours a day and we'll respond to those in a timely manner. Thank you.